one last kind of an important uh, uh, topic is to look at the cell reference signal. So how does the mobile know um, uh, to, to kind of decode the frequencies correctly in the downlink? And here we are showing a slot structure over here where there are seven symbols, uh, OFDM symbols in the time domain and, and 12 in the um, in the frequency and, and 12 carriers in the frequency domain and this as we said is called a resource block so uh, we repeat this often enough you start figuring you start learning where these things are and what they mean so so we have a resource block and, and we have these 84 resource elements in here the cell reference symbols that are provided so these are also called pilots they are there are four of them in each um, resource block uh, being transmitted and they are in for example the first and the fourth OFDM symbol of every resource block that is being being transmitted and they are at specific positions and the positions where these these, these cell reference symbols are is based on the physical cell identity of that particular cell so that is this is the identity that the UE has figured out from the PSS and the SSS, the primary synchronization signal and the secondary synchronization signal. Um, so, so that is the reason that the mobile needs to first have read this and once it figures that out, it knows that where these resource elements are and by decoding these resource elements, it has a good, um, it, it synchronizes pretty well to, to, the, to the various frequencies and, and that are being transmitted. And these um, cell reference signals are typically transmitted at much higher power than uh, the the other uh, elements over here. So the, these have lower power. This has transmitted. So if you look at the power, the power of your um, CRS is much higher than the power of your other resource elements, your other PDSCH or or or, or other resource elements that are transmitted. And this is your power versus uh, whether it is CRS or, or any other resource element. Um, so what the mobile actually measures is called the reference signal receive power RSRP. And, and, and this what RSRP is the average power in watts that is received from a single reference signal. So this is the power contained in a single reference signal and it includes the power only in this reference signal and it excludes all noise and interference power so the so the mobile's radio is smart enough just to find out what the power in this uh, reference signal is and as we said a reference signal is nothing but what's being transmitted at this frequency and and it, it figure it figures out what what the power here is the way that it finds out the power in each one of this is that it measures the power in all of these uh, uh, reference uh, resource elements that are for reference signals and then uh, which is PRS over here and it averages it over all the case. So it goes ahead and says, okay, here is my power, here is my RSRP that I am receiving in watts for uh, in, in the downlink, it enables the mobile to find out what the downlink path loss is. And this is, this is pretty important because um, it, it, it kind of figures out how far it is and, and it's, it does report it in the uplink to the, to the base station. So the base station transmits, when it transmits the reference signal, it says at what power it is transmitting and the UE receives it and based on the power at which the UE has received it, the RSRP, it is able to, to, to say how far away from a base station a mobile is. So if the mobile is out here, the RSRP uh, will be if of this mobile versus a mobile which is over here. So RSRP2 will be much higher than RSRP1. And uh, and the mobile knows it's it's much further away and and the base station also knows how far it is and so it can change its power transmission to, to it, it can transmit at a lower power to this uh, UE uh, 
2 versus transmitting at a higher power to this UE1 uh, based on what the UE1 and UE2 report back to the base station. Um, the, if you just kind of look at it, uh, the values have been computed and RSRP goes between minus 44 dBm to minus 140 dBm. So uh, this is decibel of milliwatts. So, so you go ahead and, and, and that's the range and um, this is just for your, for your reference. Now, once the mobile is, has measured the RSRP, it just provides an indication of what, how strong the signal is. It is not providing an indication of the quality. That means um, compared to other signals that, that, that the mobile is receiving, how good is the power in these reference signals that it is seeing? So comparatively, to all the background power that it is able to see, um, how, how strong the, the actual signal coming from, from the space station is, and that's the quality. That's called our reference signal received quality. Um, so RSRP, for example, if you're very far away from the base station, your RSRP can be pretty low. But if, for example, if you're in an urban, if you're in a rural area and there is no other base station, it's okay. That power is good enough for you to receive it. But put yourself into an urban area where there are four different base stations around around you. Even if the RSRP is high, but I get a lot of interference from my neighboring uh, uh, from from. So 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 there are four or five base stations over here. I may be close enough to my serving base station. But all these other base stations are sending me signals and it is interfering with whatever my base station is sending to me. So my, R, my RSRQ can be very low and that is what is being measured and also provided to the base station. And this RSRQ value is actually used to determine whether you should be doing a handover to another base station or you shouldn't be listening to me or you should be listening actually to this base station because you've gotten closer to that base station. So, so this RSRQ parameter is actually an important one. And the way the uh, the mobile kind of measures RSRQ is that it actually first measures the overall signal that is being received in this OFTM uh, symbol. So in one and four, as we said, so one, two, three, one and five, that, uh, that these are the two OFTM symbols where we have uh, the, the reference signals. It goes ahead and it says that it finds out what the power in this entire uh, OFDM symbol is. So how strong this OFDM symbol is, which is called RSSI. So which is the reference, which is the received signal strength indicator. So, so, so that's the overall power in here. And in order to find out what RSRQ is, it takes the power received in one of these uh, resource elements and it divides it by the power received in one resource block. So it measures across the entire bandwidth and it divides it by the number of resource blocks. So in 1.4 megahertz, we have six resource blocks. So it goes ahead and measures the power in, in, in the overall in the six resource blocks, which comes out to RSSI. And then it goes ahead and divides it by six. And it and then the RSR RQ is the, the power received in, in the reference sim, sim signal divided by this total power in that resource block. Um, so as we kind of already said, uh, measuring RSRQ becomes um, important during cell edge and is used for handover decisions. Um, uh, the, the, the range of RSRQ is, is interesting that the range of RSRQ goes from minus 3 dB and it's pretty simple why it is minus 3 dB is that if there is no other signal at all in any one of these uh, resource block, if this is all zeros over here, no power, uh, the only power which is being sent is in the reference signals which is always there. 
the, the minimum RSRP is going to be the power of this divided by power in this and power in this, which is going to be half. So, so the minimum, sorry, the maximum value of RSRQ is is minus three dB, which is fifty percent. So, so that's the maximum because there is energy in this and energy in this. You may be saying, why did they not just say take uh, uh, multiplied by two and this this I mean if you have uh, RSRQ of zero which is, which is equal to one that would have made sense that's the way it has been defined it's it's the energy in one uh, um, uh, resource uh, one reference signal um, and there are two reference signals at the minimum in a particular um, in a particular resource block so so you go you go from minus three dB and the range the the minimum value is close to minus twenty dB and at minus twenty dB you're you're essentially saying is that uh, I'm getting the energy that I'm getting in the reference signal is only one percent of the total uh, energy in the resource block. Um, so because um, minus 20 dB is 10 raised to the power minus 2, so you're, you're essentially down to uh, 0 0.01, and, and that's 1%. So, so you're saying um, one reference signal has 1% of the total energy. And, and this value gets reported back, uh, both RSRP and RSRQ gets reported back to the base station, and it is used for handover.